Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm bringing you a new update here from Austin and Grünheide. We have a lot to talk about, but in general, we look into a new factory that will be built at the location in Austin and what they will do and what they will produce. But first we start in Germany and we see in the green line here, clearly that the entire car market is still not really recovering. Um, it looks like 2021, it is just slightly better in January. Um, just clearly, um, Tesla is not having the biggest impact in the first month. As we all know, Tesla is exporting right now. The first ship has arrived in Southampton and this ship will continue to drive or not drive, but um, get to Seebrugge very soon. So it will be very exciting. The next two weeks will be very pa packed full of deliveries here in Europe. Then looking into Austin in the black line roundabout there, you see the sign where the Austin factory right now is happening. And now it's getting interesting because there's an application for a 32 hectare big factory. Um, maybe there where the blue line is, it is not clear yet where and when um, Tesla will start with this building. Um, but it is clearly a way where Tesla is showing where this entire um, yeah, deliveries of cars and then having all the products that are needed for it is going. And this strategy of the supply chain um, will be clearly shown here in Austin because Tesla is going to build a factory to produce cathodes and those are one of the most expensive parts of a battery. So it makes a lot of sense for Tesla to do that in house to produce it themselves, take the lithium and make them themselves because with that they cut away the middleman, they cut away a lot of costs and if they are able to do that very efficiently, um, this would be very a game changer and we do know that from the battery day and uh, in the battery day they have talked about that but it was taking a bit more time to actually get into it and build a building to produce those cathodes. So I am very, very hyped about this um, move of Tesla to do that. So we might see some construction and more construction at a new building happening. Uh, maybe over the next few weeks, they will start um, with this building as the main building is getting more and more ready. Most of the work is happening inside of the building. And with that, um, Tesla can focus on a new building actually starting to be built on this entire area which they bought because they can build like eight factories like the size that you see here um, to um, to cover the entire land that they have bought. Later on, we will also talk about the effects of um, building and producing cathodes themselves because it is a very, very good thing. We could look into um, Giga Berlin as well. But first, the numbers from the 2021 year, we see Model Y clearly leading here with 160,000 cars and the Model 3 as well with 138,000 cars. And then the Ford Mac E with 27, the Chevrolet Bolt 22, Volkswagen ID4 that launched in the United States is actually picking up pretty well for VW circumstances. And then we have the Tesla Model S. I do expect much more deliveries in 2022. Um, will be interesting how far and how high the Model S can climb. There is no um, Model X shown yet. Um, so let's see if um, we will um, see any numbers next year in this statistic. So we clearly see the lead of Tesla um, in the United States. And we see those well, we might see those effects in the European market as well this year or next year. But I do expect clear um, changes in the market market in Europe by next year once Tesla is really ramping up production and putting up really high numbers in the European market. Again, I do think it is much more competitive in the European market. To be fair here, um, you can kill me for that if you're from the United States, but I clearly think it is more competitive. And you see all the ships coming from China to Europe. This is a logistical nightmare. It is a lot of work, a lot of things that can happen on its way. And of course, as well, the costs 
to deliver those through half of the world. I'm really looking forward that this might not happen anymore in two years time once the Model 3 is going up and going here in Grünheide. We have here new footage from Giga Berlin, by the way. So we see the tests are happening. Cars are being test produced. And um, again, I think that the entire land, the area that Tesla has bought here in Germany would also be fitting to build a cathode um, factory. It makes a lot of sense to be much more independent from China, um, to be able to produce um, components that are part of the battery that are very expensive themselves. And again, Tesla has always said they are not trying to cut away all of the um, companies that are delivering components to them. But again, it is very important to be independent here um, from the supply chain issues that might occur because, of course, more batteries are needed. With that as well, more cathodes are needed. And with that, Tesla could prevent themselves from another supply chain issue in the future um, when more and more batteries are needed. Supply chain issues might occur not only with the semiconductor um, area, but as well in the area of cathodes production, because of course those have to be ramped up as well. And that is what I mean by being so smart. And Tesla is being very smart in being able to um, prevent themselves already way ahead of all the other car makers that are currently in the field. Um, just for your information, by the way, um, the solar roof business is actually being stopped right now. Um, they do have issues with the supply chain. Um, there's not enough to actually install solar roofs right now. So this is also something Tesla might get better in over the next few years. It might take a lot of time. We might look back to the solar roof in 10 years and might laugh about the numbers that Tesla is achieving in 10 years. Um, again, I personally think every roof that is fully, so, uh, fully covered with solar roof is a win. And yes, it might take a lot of time till um, we see big effects. But there is this nice saying, every single roof is a change. And even if it's a small amount that Tesla is delivering here, and of course, there are other companies doing that as well. Solar, 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 guys. And this is the goal. If you like to hear my podcast in German, you can find me as well under Tesla Supply on Spotify and Amazon Music. I really appreciate you being here, supporting me all the time. So thank you very much for doing that and I wish you all a wonderful weekend. Thank you very much. Bye bye.